Well, welcome everyone. My name is John Brenneman. I'm the president here at MOA Vacations, and I am joined today by Gina Canseco. Uh, she's with Colette Vacations. Um, and wanted to thank everybody for joining us today. Uh, we are going to talk Australian New Zealand MOA Signature Group. Um, before we get started, uh, we have a couple of people that I don't think have attended a webinar before. So I always like to start out with this slide and real quick, just talk a little bit about MOA Vacations and kind of what makes us uh, kind of unique or special, however you want to say it. Uh, the one thing we always start out, we talk about uh, would be our uh, superior service. Uh, we do have a concierge kind of level of service and the fact that uh, we try to provide uh, more than just booking services. We are and continue to be the only travel agency in the country that provides travel on a satisfaction guaranteed basis. That means if you have any problem or concern, uh, either before or during your trip, you will actually either speak to me and probably 90% of the cases, if for some reason or other I'm available, you'll talk to uh, Vice President Mike Tyrell. So you go straight to management and we get the problem resolved in a very quick and timely manner. Uh, one of the other things that's come up lately um, is, for example, like trip insurance to give you an idea of uh, how the concierge level of service works as far as that's concerned. Uh, uh, I am actually licensed to sell insurance in all 50 states. So if anybody has a insurance claim, uh, I actually complete the paperwork for you. The key to getting a claim paid is to complete the paperwork correctly. And having done hundreds and hundreds of claims over the past three plus decades, um, that's a key part of it. Uh, the next part we always talk about uh, is we do have a lowest price guarantee. Uh, so you can book with confidence. And in fact, we actually do a little bit better than the lowest price guarantee, which is our MOA uh, exclusive amenity program. Colette does participate in this. Now, just as a heads up, when we get to the pricing um, for the signature group, since we know everyone will be a MOA member or a MOA guest on this trip, that Colette discount has already been applied. But if you were to go on any other Colette uh, land tour, or they actually have river cruises as well. So if you were to go on any Colette tour or cruise, you would receive an additional 50 or $100 off per person. So our price on Colette and a number of other vendors is actually lower than the lowest price. And then uh, what we wanted to talk about today are group opportunities. We do have other opportunities with Colette to go on a group. Uh, that would be a smaller group, like we might be working with a chapter or a group of friends, or we just put one together uh, that we know that a lot of people are interested in, so you can join that. Uh, but on that tour, um, it would be like a tour open to the general public. So even if we had a group of MOA members on, let's say, a tour to Africa, uh, we may only be you know, a portion of that bus. Well, Africa was a bad a bad one to pick because the buses are so small, but uh, let's say that we were going to do like Iceland, like we did last year with Colette. So you could do a tour with Iceland. We could even have other MOA members on it, but the entire bus would not be MOA members. Um, we can do a group. If you have your chapter, your, your council wants to do a group, you and your family or your friends. Um, so we have a lot of opportunities when it comes in groups. But today, what we want to talk about is the signature groups. I, I often describe these as these are groups on steroids because it has all of the benefits that a normal group would have and then some additional benefits. So first off, um, I'd be remiss if I did not talk about the camaraderie. And I know I a minute ago talked kind of about going uh, on a like a chapter or a council trip. But, but one of the reasons that these signature groups are the highest rated trips that we do every year is because of the camaraderie of actually going and exploring these places and being with a group of people. Uh, that have similar background, similar experience and those types of things. And, you know, something that uh, I just escorted a couple of uh, MOA groups for the 80th anniversary of D-Day. So we went uh, from Paris to the Normandy beaches. And in the feedback we got on that, someone mentioned something that I don't think I've highlighted enough uh, in the past when we talk about sh signature groups. And he was talking about how amazed he was at the courtesy and the respect for fellow passengers that our group 
showed to each other. And it's something that you notice when you go on them, but I'd never really verbalized before. So not only the camaraderie of going with fellow service people, but you're going to be on a bus or going to dinner or going to these sites or whatever with a group of people who are going to treat you the way you'll treat them, which is at a much more respectful and courteous manner than you may experience if you went on a non-signature group. Okay, so back to kind of the exclusives. They are going to be hosted by MOA leadership uh, and MOA staff. So we have two buses uh, for Australia and New Zealand. Um, I'm sure this will be mentioned again. The first bus is completely sold out. We are about a fourth of the way through the next bus. And what that means is, is right now, we only have room for 16 more couples. We have space for 33 people. There is a single rate. So I guess in theory, we have more than 16 rooms. But um, point being is, is there's not a lot of opportunity le yet left to join us. Uh, as much as possible, we make them all inclusive. Tours are a little bit more difficult, um, but we are going to go through kind of uh, when we go through this, um, what the meals are included, everything that's included. Um, like all signature groups, when we go through this, everything we discuss will be included. Uh, the big thing that's never included is airfare. We do have an air program with Colette that we're going to talk about. Um, but with people coming from all across the country, it's just nearly impossible to add a set air rate, which would be the same for everybody. Okay, uh, exclusive onboard events and excursions. Okay, so we're, I know Gina's gonna talk more about this, um, but I, I, I can barely stop myself from going back talking about it, Gina. But uh, she'll talk about more details. But, but for example, one of the things we've done is um, we know that typically if you were to do a tour of Australia, your airplane would land, you'd be transferred to your hotel, and the tour would actually start that afternoon. Um, it is a long way to uh, New Zealand and Australia, as I'm sure all of you know. Um, so we actually added an extra day to the normal kind of tour that Colette offers, which means you're going to go get in, you'll go to the hotel, and then you'll have a day at leisure. Uh, the MOA vacations uh, escorts will be there. The tour guides from Colette will be there. So if you were looking for suggestions on where to eat, where to go, what to see, and those types of things, there will be people there. But it is an entire 24 hours that we added at the beginning of this tour, which is kind of an on your own. So that way, when the tour starts, you will be rested and refreshed and ready for everything that's about to come. Um, and we've got like... Um, a welcome dinner and a farewell dinner at the Sydney Opera House, but I'm not going to steal all of Gina's thunder, so I'll let her talk about that. The other thing we always talk about is everything we offer uh, is to MOA members and anyone who is traveling with you. So you're invited to bring friends and guests along on anything you book through us. So let's say you uh, decided that you were going to go on a Colette tour, um, and I'm just going to stick with Iceland. So you're going to do Iceland and you decide you're going to bring friends with you. They would receive everything that you receive as a MOA member, which is our satisfaction guarantee, which is lowest price guarantee. They'd receive the Colette exclusive amenity of the additional discount. So in that kind of invitation to join you extends to signature groups as well. I'm not sure we've ever done a signature group where at least one or two people haven't brought in people along, if not more. Um, so look, this is your vacation. We want you to have as much fun as possible. So if you would have more fun bringing friends or family along, absolutely. Uh, and then the last thing we talk about is they are a rare opportunity. We only have two signature groups uh, that are going in 2025. We have um, this Australia, New Zealand tour in uh, May. We have 16 rooms left. Our 33 spots for people. And then in August, we have a Greek Isles cruise. And on that one, I think we are about the same kind of situation where we only have about 14 or 15 rooms left. So um, if you want to go on a signature group this year, in specifically, if you want to go on this Australia, New Zealand signature trip, this will be our last webinar that we have on this. So kind of make sure if you have any questions, ask them now, reach out to us because we always hate to turn anybody away. Okay, so that's just kind of a real quick kind of preview. I am now going to turn it over to Gina 
Um, we are recording this webinar. So I will send, if you've never been to a webinar before, we record them. So you'll receive an email from me, which will have a link to this webinar. We'll actually post it on YouTube. So you can view it again. We started right on the hour. So if Gina says something that you want to revisit, just kind of look at your watch or your phone or your wall clock or whatever and see what time it is. And if it's 35 minutes after the hour, then when you get the webinar, you can fast forward to the 35 minute mark and get to right where you want to go. We also mentioned the fact that bringing friends and family, feel free to share the webinar with others that you think might enjoy joining you. Um, I think it's a great opportunity uh, to bring friends along. Uh, and then the final thing is, is uh, when Gina's done, she's going to talk a little bit about Colette and then go into kind of a deep dive on this tour. Uh, Gina and I are going to do a Q&A. So I am actually going to shut my camera off and mute, and I'm going to be answering questions uh, during Gina's presentation. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them as you think of them. Um, if it's a simple answer, I may just go ahead and answer them now. Uh, if it's something I think everyone will be interested in, uh, then I might answer it, but we'll bring it up again at the Q&A. So without any further ado, Gina, thank you very much for joining us today and tell us more about Colette and the South Pacific. Yes, thank you so much for having me, John. We really appreciate your partnership and are very excited to tell you about this wonderful tour. It's really a once in a lifetime opportunity um, to really explore two wonderful countries uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, we're gonna see Australia, New Zealand, um, and really everything's gonna be packaged all together for you. And the great part about that is, is you have the MOA team uh, to really make sure everything's taken care of for you in addition to Colette. Uh, so just a little bit of background on Colette. Uh, if you are not familiar with us, we are a family owned company. We are the longest running tour operator in the United States, been around for about 107 years. And we're really excited to tell you about this wonderful tour and for our partnership with MOA. Uh, so my goal today is really to walk you through the itinerary, share some before you go tips of this trip of a lifetime. Um, and before we get started on talking about the itinerary itself, um, we want to just familiarize you with Colette and what you can expect on any of our tours, not just this tour, but any of our tours in addition to working with MOA because we know that they, um, the advisors take wonderful, wonderful care of you. And we've had great feedback on our signature tours before. Um, and so I have no doubt that this one is going to be just as wonderful. So if you have not heard of us before, you may have uh, familiarized yourself with us through the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So we are actually the company on Wheel of Fortune that gives away free trips. Uh, so if you know the name does sound familiar, that may be where you heard it from before. So uh, what you can expect when you tour with Colette. So number one goal is we really want to make this as easy as possible for you. So uh, the way that we do that is what you can expect to have with us is number one, four star accommodations and five star service. So when you think when you see that we look at the itinerary and, you know, we're going to visit two wonderful countries. All you're going to have to worry about is really moving yourself. We are going to take care of all of the details for you. So you really just have to pack your bags and make sure you've got your passport and be prepared. When we are switching from um, country to country, you're not going to have to worry about that 50 pound bag. We'll make sure that uh, your hotel to hotel baggage is handled. You'll set your bag right outside your door. Uh, at your hotel and we will take it downstairs, load it on the bus, get it over to your next hotel and take it up to your room for you. We've got your tour manager in addition to a MOA representative that will be with you. Um, we've got the tour manager that actually stays at your hotels with you. They travel every step of the way with you. Um, and it's really great to utilize them in your free time as well because they're not only there to 
they're really not there to just, um, you know, give you facts and, and such. They're there to be kind of a personal concierge for you and provide you with suggestions, things to do in your free time. Um, so you've got your tour manager, your MOA representative, and then we've also got expert local guides that will join up with you uh, in the destination you're visiting to tell you about the local culture and history uh, from a firsthand perspective. And another thing with us is we don't want you to just feel like you're eating at the hotel with us. We, When we say culinary experiences, that's exactly what we mean. You are going to have home hosted meals. You're going to have, uh, we're going to get to eat at the Sydney Opera House. We're going to um, try local cuisine. We're going to get to know the local culinary uh, experiences while we're there as well. So uh, this is when we go on tour, we don't just go to eat, we go to dine um, and really enjoy that as well as getting to know the locals uh, through cultural experiences. We want you to get experiences that you would not be able to get if you went on your own. Um, we want you to get to know the locals, meet them, feel like a local in the place that you're traveling to, as well as not having to waste any time along the way. We want to make sure that you have your preferred access to the site and attractions. We uh, have added some additional things on this tour specifically for this group to make sure that um, you have everything that so, so you get to see the most of both countries that you're visiting. And we'll take unique modes of transportation because we want to make sure that we get you there to your destination the quickest as possible so you can really immerse yourself and spend the most time and not just be traveling the whole time. So we don't just travel by motor coach the whole time. And last but not least, as I mentioned, we're over 100 years old. We have made mistakes in the past. We've learned from them. We have uh, our tours are designed by travelers for travelers like yourself. And uh, we've really perfected what guided touring looks like today. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and dive into the itinerary itself, and we'll talk about some tips and tricks as well as what to expect while you're on tour. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera off so we can fully focus on the beautiful pictures and presentation that we have here on these two wonderful countries. So we are going to uh, do this tour May 6th through the 21st of 2025, which is going to be 16 days, 25 meals included for you. Uh, we've got a couple options for you for choice on tour as well, um, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. But we're going to go on this incredible journey along the coast of Australia through New Zealand, South Island. And as John mentioned, we did add a, a pre-night in Christchurch, um, and that's another one of those uh, special things that you get with the uh, MOA partnership. Uh, we they are they want to make sure that you're getting the most out of your destination. That's why they've added the pre-night, so we can make sure that uh, you can relax and be prepared um, as it is a longer flight. Um, we do cross the international date line, so you do lose a day when you're traveling over there. Um, so just trying to deal with the time zone differences, the pre-night is going to really help you get adjusted to that. One thing I always do like to mention as well is the activity level. So we do measure our activity level scale one to four, four being the most active. And this is going to be a level two. Now, keep in mind that this is based on a demographic of 55 plus. So this is not just an overall tour activity level. This is based on a demographic of that age group. So level two is going to be a very, very balanced approach for you. Um, you can expect walking two to three miles over the course of the day, breaks in between, um, be two out two hour leisurely walking tour covering up to a, a couple miles uh, so you can expect some fuller days balanced with free time to recharge and set out on your own adventure 
So as John had mentioned, we do have some exclusives that have been added to this itinerary just to make it that much better for you. So number one is how we make it easy on you is we're going to uh, transfer, your transfers are going to be included on this. So transfer from Christchurch Airport to your hotel is going to be at the beginning of your tour um, and at the conclusion at your tour. Um, so that additional one day hotel is included. And then we do have that welcome dinner that John mentioned, which will be on the second night, which will be a great opportunity to have that camaraderie that uh, John had mentioned, really getting to know your travelers that you're going to have this once in a lifetime opportunity with um, and prepare for this wonderful adventure through the South Pacific. Um, and last but not least, we have added uh, a very, very special farewell dinner and performance at the World world famous Sydney Opera House. And keep in mind, this is something that is exclusive to this group. So this is a really, really unique experience that uh, is really going to en enhance and kind of wrap up your tour in a really memorable way. So just a few things to expect to know before you go. We want to give you an idea of what the weather is going to look like while you are here in May. So in New Zealand uh, is going to be the coolest. Australia is going to be a little bit warmer, um, looking at around 50s to 80s. So you're going to want to think in layers when we talk about clothing. Uh, it's going to be very similar to what October is in the Midwest. So um, think more fall weather, but sunny days. Uh, currency here. You're going to be able to use ATMs. Your tour manager will be there to provide you with the best, uh, you know, ATM that you can use to get the lowest rates. Always avoid getting any uh, exchanges at the airport as it's more expensive, as well as hotels. So you'll have your tour manager there for you to provide you with suggestions. Um, you will need a U.S. passport and electronic visa. Um, and as well as a voltage converter. And keep in mind, we will make sure that all of you are prepared prior to your departure. Um, you will receive a document book that's going to have all of this information from packing tips uh, to, um, you know, those emergency numbers you want to leave behind just in case. As John mentioned, they'll be covering taking care of insurance for you. We'll make sure that you are prepared prior to departure. Um, and then dress. Dress on tour is very, uh, very casual. So you think slacks, khakis, comfortable tops are all appropriate. You'll want to bring some beach wear, maybe a swimsuit uh, when you are in can. And um, you'll notice that the locals do tend to wear a little bit nicer clothes to restaurants. So you may want to bring a couple nice outfits to wear to dinner. Um, and by that, I don't mean sport coat. Um, but when you go to the Sydney Opera House performance, we do recommend, you know, maybe a collar shirt, slacks for men, um, casual dress or pants and top uh, for uh, when you are at the Sydney Opera House. But number one thing to make sure that you bring with you is comfortable footwear. So we are touring. We want you to make sure that your feet are comfortable, you are comfortable, uh, so you don't have to worry about that as you're touring through here. So uh, as I mentioned, you will want to make sure that your passport is up to date uh, following up to eight months prior to return. Uh, so you want to make sure that that's going to be valid for you through November of 2025. Um, and the electronic visa, it's like I said, it's electronic. It's very simple. It's done through an app. It, uh, and you will have the MOA advisors to walk you through that and make sure that you're prepared. So we do begin with an overnight flight um, where we are going to, you'll have a connection likely in Australia, and we are going to make our way to Christchurch. 
So as I mentioned, we do have that pre-night. Once you arrive in Australia, you will be greeted at baggage claim by the Colette representatives that are going to direct you to the group transfer to the hotel. Um, you'll have uh, that. You'll also get your MOA vacation representatives. Um, and after your long journey, like we said, we want to give you some time to relax and recover. So your first day is not going to have any set activities. And I think that you will find that that um, you're going to be glad that we did that after you adjust to the time zone. Um, but you will also have that tour manager with you on hand if you do want to go out and do some exploring. And I'm somebody that when I travel, I get way too excited and I cannot sleep when I arrive, no matter how much I have not slept. <laughs> So as we include the pre-night, we'll give you some time to rest. And then the next day, we're going to provide you with breakfast before we head out for a historic city tour of Christchurch, New Zealand, which is the largest city in the South Island of New Zealand. Um, if you remember back in 2011, this what city um, is known as the Garden City, but it was devastated by an earthquake back in 2011. So we're going to kind of walk through the history of it and talk about how it's really recreated itself and learn about all the history and the culture here. And then we're going to meet your fellow travelers. We will officially gather as a group that first night as we'll have your welcome dinner and drinks that first night. Uh, the next day, independent sightseeing, as I mentioned. And then um, we will have the, uh, for the pre-night and then this day is going to be, so basically this will be day three for you as you do lose two days. So as we tour through Christchurch, uh, getting to go see the botanical gardens, all of the public parks, and um, the gardens here are just absolutely amazing. As uh, so your tour manager, it will get to tell you all about that and you know what's been recreated since the uh, since the earthquake. Then, if you are an animal lover, this is going to be a wonderful trip for you, as you cannot get to see these types of animals uh, if you're from the United States. So uh, we're going to stop with start with a visit to the Willow Bank Wild Reserve, uh, where a leader in the conservation of new uh, New Zealand species is going to offer you a chance to view the big five in, Aust in New Zealand, which are known as the Kiwi, the Key, and the kaka, and uh, we're gonna get up close and personal to these. We're gonna get to see uh, many different types of species uh, from exotics to farmyard to natives. Then, um, as I mentioned at the beginning, we want to let you get to know the locals here and give you things that you would not be able to get uh, if you did this tour, if you did this trip on your own. So we're going to get to know the local indigenous culture here of the Ma uh, Maori people, um, where we are going to paddle on the Avon River in a traditional waka, which is what we would call a canoe. So we are going to depart Christchurch and make your way south to Queenstown, where we're going to arrive in the afternoon and have some time to independent independently uh, explore before we have dinner. Um, and uh, then you're going to get to know this wonderful place, which is known as the adventure capital of the world. If you didn't know, and uh, there they, in New Zealand, they, the locals are called Kiwis. So you may hear that said here and there as uh, the, I think it's just such a cute name to, to be called as a local. So get to know the Kiwis. Um, and then we're going to have a included barbecue lunch for you um, on the sh shores of Lake Wakatipu um, in place of the steamship, which is scheduled um, here. So we will get to have beautiful views with a barbecue lunch. 
And then we're going to go meet some more locals uh, where we're going to get to see a sheepdog demonstration and get to see the uh, dogs go to the sheepdogs go to work um, as they herd the local sheep uh, before we make our way back. Next morning, we're gonna wake up to a new adventure where we go explore Milford Sound. Um, and on this route, you're really gonna get to, this is gonna be one that you really do not mind being on the motor coach because you were, you're just gonna see the rugged Hollyford Valley as we travel through the beach forest um, via the Homer Tunnel. So as we welcome you to Milford Sound, uh, we will have a cruise of the beautiful fjords and you'll see why it's really one of the most visited sites on South Island. Um, this runs for almost 500 feet to the Tasman seat. And as you can see, it's just surrounded by sheer rock faces that rise very high. So it's gonna provide you with very beautiful views uh, along the way. As you'll see, you're also going to get to see uh, some beautiful waterfalls. Um, and keep in mind, if it does uh, happen to rain, you're actually going to get some better views. So this is somewhere you may actually hope for rain um, because it will provide better views of the waterfalls. Next morning, we're gonna enjoy a free morning for you. So we really like to give you a balanced approach to travel, um, you know, as great as traveling with a group may be. Sometimes you just wanna do some things on your own. So we're gonna give you the free day to catch your breath here. Um, but if you don't wanna do some exploring on your own, that is totally okay because we do have an optional excursion for you. If you'd like to go embark on a four wheel drive adventure through the mystery landscapes of New Zealand's high country um, we will uh, we do have this option for you and you can actually see where the Lord of the Rings trail trailology was filmed or if you just want to spend some time on your own um, there's some great shopping you can get some unique souvenirs and one of my favorite things to always do when I travel is people watch so this is you can just spend some time walking through the village maybe sit in one of the public parks and um, do some people watching and as I mentioned at the beginning, we have something we call a uh, choice on tour. Choice on tour is going to be no extra cost out of your pocket to do one thing or the other. We just know everybody's different. Want to give you the choice of how you'd like to uh, spend your day. So uh, we have the option for you to uh, go bird watching at the Kiwi Bird Life Park or you can choose to, if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, uh, take the gondola to the top of Bob's Peak uh, for a stunning panoramic view of the region here. And now we are going to have our farewell dinner uh, to New Zealand this evening where we're gonna have some wonderful wine, uh, some wonderful food uh, and talk about your journey thus far of what you've gotten to experience in New Zealand with your new friends and your group. So your flight, I just want to mention that your flight uh, from New Zealand to Australia is going to be included um, in the airfare pricing. Uh, so here is where you're going to want to have those flip-flops and bathing suits. So we fly here uh, to Cairns. This tropical gateway is one of the most spectacular natural attractions and is a world heritage site of the Great Barrier Reef. So we've met the culture and the locals in uh, the in New Zealand. Now we're going to meet the indigenous uh, the indigenous people of Australia. And we are going to start with uh, a local guide that's going to show you some of their oldest customs and traditions in the Rainforestation National Park.
Then we're going to give you some more opportunities to see some more wildlife. We will visit Hartley's Crocodile Adventures, where you're going to get to see uh, crocodiles on a nature cruise um, before we head back uh, after the cruise through the rainforest, um, where you'll get to see animals, birds, reptiles, and wallabies. And of course, the cute little koalas, um, where you'll get to get up close and learn more about the these cute little uh, furry creatures. And then that afternoon, we will have dinner at one of the local favorite restaurants. Next, we are going to see the famous Great Barrier Reef. We're going to board a high-speed catamaran for an exciting excursion out there um, where you're going to get to see the beauty that you've probably heard about before. Um, this marine park is really a haven for thousands of species of sea life, uh, including turtles and birds. Um, you'll find almost 3,000 individual coral reefs reef systems. Um, so lots of amazing, diverse marine life here. We'll give you the opportunity to explore the reef from your base on Green Island. Um, and keep in mind, there's many different ways that you can explore the reef, um, whether you want to just stroll along the walking trails, relax on some of the beaches, or just watch the fish and sea turtles swim past from the pier. Um, however you want to experience it, no matter what, will be absolutely wonderful. The a glass bottom boat ride can actually take you out to sea and allow you to almost feel as you're swimming with the fish because you can just look right at uh, that uh, the bottom of the boat and get to see everything um, and see the bright colors against these turquoise waters and this boat really does reveal it all. So if you're feeling a bit more adventurous and want to really get up close and personal, we do have a wonderful option for you, which I do highly recommend as it's, um, like I said, once in a lifetime experience to jump in um, and explore and see all of the colorful world um, along the continental shelf of the Great Barrier Reef. Next morning, we'll have breakfast before we make our way to Sydney, um, which is also going to be included in the inner air package. Uh, it's about a three hour flight. Uh, so we'll give you, once we arrive, kind of create your own adventure upon arrival. Uh, you can either simply relax, uh, go, you know, take in however you want to take in the tropical atmosphere here. Um, and uh, then we're going to get to know the state capital of New South Wales and the most populous city here in Australia. We'll get to, of course, see the, uh, where the original English colonist first settled during a city tour of Sydney with a local expert, where we will get to see um, all of the highlights here that many tourists from all over the world come to see, including King's Cross, the famous Harbor Bridge, uh, go do some shopping in Chinatown if you'd like, um, go see the Circular Quay the botanic gardens, many, many different things to do and see here. And of course, it wouldn't be a trip here without discovering one of the world's most fascinating architectural sites, as we're going to take you on a guided tour of the Sydney Opera House um, and learn about all the acoustics and what makes this place so great. Uh, the Concerts Hall's Grand Organ in the Sydney Opera House is the largest mechanical version of this instrument in the world, um, which is why we wanted to make sure to include a dinner and actual show for you. So today we're actually going to get to tour and get to know it before we come back at the end of the tour um, and have dinner and see a performance. 
Then we are in for another unique experience as uh, we are going to learn firsthand about opals during a special presentation at the National Opal Collection. Um, so if you like jewelry, you'll have the opportunity to shop this famous gemstone from black opals to white opals, um, boulder opals. Um, so if you that is my birthstone, my favorite. I'm actually wearing a ring right now with opal on it. It's my absolute favorite. So if you um, are somebody that en enjoys that, I think that this will uh, really impress you getting to learn about this and see all the different colors. Next day, we're gonna embrace uh, the exciting city of Sydney during a day of independent exploration. So balanced approach, like I said, we wanna give you time to um, do some exploring on your own. Uh, you'll have your tour manager to uh, be on hand to offer suggestions for you, things to do, find those hidden gems because we're gonna take you all to the must sees, but we want to give you the opportunity to do some exploring on your own in case you've got something in mind that you want Want to see maybe visiting the Sydney Tower get some 360 views and this evening is going to be the finale of the tour where we're going to say farewell to Australia um, by chatting with new friends taking in the sights during a delightful dinner cruise of the Sydney Harbour um, and here this wine and beer and wonderful food will be served. And if you are a photographer lover, you're absolutely going to want uh, to make sure to have your camera with you as there's going to be amazing photo opportunities of the harbor around uh, two hours or so on the dinner cruise. Views like this uh, is what you're going to get to see wonderful sunsets as uh, right over the Sydney Opera House and the Harbor Bridge. And then uh, your tour does come to a close today. It is a uh, Colette rule. We do have to bring you home at some point. Uh, so after this wonderful adventure of getting to see the wonderful Garden City, um, getting to cruise the Milford Sound, visiting Queenstown, the adventure capital of the world, experience some wonderful food um, under some wonderful weather, um, getting to see the Great Barrier Reef, all coming home with wonderful, wonderful memories, um, and hopefully new friends that you've made along this trip. Now we do have one, if you'd like to break up your, your trip a little bit, we do have an optional three night Fiji post tour extension for you. Um, this is, this is a great way to really break up your flight and, uh, visit Fiji. Um, Fijians are very warm and friendly, and this is going to be a very, very relaxed. So I just want you to keep in mind that this is going to um, be what we call independent exploring. So you won't have a host or a guide along the way other than your MOA representative if they are going on it. Um, but this is going to be really just relaxing the entire time. Um, you've gotten to do a lot of touring, see a lot of wonderful things. Um, in Australia and New Zealand. So now we are going to give you the opportunity to just relax and um, enjoy the beautiful views and those clear waters in Fiji. Now we do have, I want to let you know that you can upgrade your airfare if that's something you are interested in. We do have that option. And we talked about those dining experiences of the Sydney Opera House that we've done, that we've included to uh, really personalize this experience for you. We've got optional excursions. If you want to forego some of that free time, we've included your pre-night. Um, so these are some ways we've personalized personalize it, but if you'd like to personalize it a little bit more, we uh, can accommodate that as well. And then we've got our tour extension uh, to Fiji that we offer as well. 
Now, a great thing about traveling with us is you are automatically enrolled in our Colette Passport Club loyalty program. Uh, we actually just rolled this out last year, and we wanted to give you the opportunity to unlock new rewards and benefits each time you travel with us. Uh, this loyalty program truly does incentivize, incentivize uh, repeat clients and customer loyalty. So basically, the more you travel with us, the more benefits you get, the uh, bigger the trip, the bigger the reward. This is a big trip, so this will uh, result in some wonderful rewards. If you've traveled um, with us before, you are automatically enrolled. It's not something you need to sign up for. Um, we will automatically enroll you and it will be applied. And another way we personalize it and uh, just make this a little bit easier on you is we do um, door to door sedan service. So when you package our air, you're also going to receive somebody to pick you up right at your home um, and take you to your airport, take you to the airport. Uh, so you can just leave the driving to us. You're really just going to have to pack your bags and, and we'll take the rest from there. So if you'd like to sign up for this tour, we have a very inclusive price for, you know, getting to see 16 days with all of these wonderful itinerary inclusions, that round trip hometown transfers, your air um, that's offered from multiple gateways, your Colette tour manager, your MOA representative, all of your hotels, everything we've discussed is included um, at a double price rate per person at $67.99. And I'll go over airfare in just a minute. And then single supplement will be an additional $1,500 on top of that $67.99. Uh, so we're looking at a deposit of $1,000 at the double occupancy, occupancy rate and then $1,500 for single. So um, here's just give you an idea of airfare from multiple different gateways. Uh, so we've got, uh, so you can have an idea of that. And just to give you an idea of what flight times look like, uh, sample schedules. So from LA to Sydney is going to be about 15 hours. So a couple snacks, couple meals, couple movies, a uh, couple naps you'll be there um <laughs> may have <laughs> may have a four-hour layover in sydney that's this like i said this is just sample itinerary give you an idea and then from sydney to christchurch it's about three hours um and then back sydney to la is about 13 hour 13 to 14 hours so um and like i said pricing does include the inner air um and if you do happen to, you know, jump on our website just to view the itinerary, keep in mind that our website does not include all of these uh, things that have been added as well as the inner air on um, listed on our website. So um, that's this is going to include all of that for you. So if you'd like to reserve a seat, we uh, do, like John mentioned, we do have a very limited seating available um, and it is first come first serve. We've already done a webinar on this before and it already have, um, I believe, a bus full already. And uh, so if you'd like to sign up, you'll want to go ahead and contact MOA to um, get signed up. We do uh, accept Visa, MasterCard, Amex Discover to for your deposit uh, as well as check. And to sign up, you can uh, go, you can call MOA or email them as well as for more information, visiting the website um, that is listed here. And John, if you wanna post that in the chat, just so they have that, um, or I know it's been emailed out as well. Yeah, we'll uh, actually include that URL uh, that's listed there, the Mo the Brenco Mo Vacations slash Australia. Uh, we'll include that when we send out the webinar. Actually, uh, if you're ready to book, we'd ask that you actually go to that website. Uh, and there is um, one of the tabs. There's, there's I think, eight different tabs on the web page. Um, so you have the homepage, you have the pricing and accommodations, day-to-day -day itinerary, 
a page dedicated to what all the inclusions are. And one of the tabs is book now. And so when you're ready to book, if you'd actually click on that and complete that, uh, it actually expedites the uh, process uh, because that will allow us to capture all the information we're gonna need, your name, your address, your phone, uh, your email address. Um, and also uh, in case we do fill up, uh, it allows us to um, set kind of, I guess you'd say a sequence. It's kind of in the order you sign up. Um, we, I, I saw at least one or two bookings come through. So um, we still have 14 rooms, there's 40 people on this. So uh, I'm sure a lot of the people that are on the webinar uh, have already booked. So if you wanna go, uh, I'm sure that if you get back with us in the next week or two, uh, I'm fairly confident we'll still have room. Uh, one thing I did want to clarify before we get into the Q&A, uh, and, and you may have said this, Gina, and I just didn't hear it, but the deposit is 1000 per person for double occupancy and $1,500 if you're going as a single. So for double occupancy, the deposit is 2000 and for single occupancy, the uh, deposit is $1,500. Um, other than that, uh, I say we dive into the Q&A, don't you? Yes, absolutely. Okay. okay. Well, there's a number of questions that uh, were asked that uh, I mentioned when I was answering them that we'd come back to them. So uh, let me throw on the reading glasses. Okay. Somebody asked about transfers. By the way, um, did, did we want to take just a second and, and, and expand upon the door-to-door -door service with Colette's Air? Or did I miss your discussion of that, Gina? Uh, the door to door. Yes, I did mention that, uh, okay. that we do. Um, I guess, I, I guess, I, 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 you know, and I was answering questions. I, I, I just, I may have missed the slide, so I apologize. But, but just to be clear, because a lot of times people will look at the air and, you know, compare it, you know, and can I get it a few dollars cheaper here or there, whatever. And to me, what Colette does is if you use their air, uh, to me is one of the, the, coolest or greatest kind of little perks and that's the fact they actually pick you up at your home or your apartment or wherever you're living uh and take you to the airport and then when you return they pick you up the airport and bring you home this would be a car service uh there is a limit within 50 miles of the airport uh it's complimentary it goes out to 75 miles for a slight fee most people live within 50 miles of an airport. So uh, if you're looking at air, obviously you can do it on your own. We have it through Colette, um, but that's just such a great added perk with their air program is not to worry about either getting an Uber or a cab to the airport, imposing upon a friend or parking your car, which can be very pricey over 18 days. So anyway, okay. So uh, I, I thought of that because somebody asked a question about our transfers included if we book your own air. Yeah, transfers are included as part of the group. Um, it is important uh, to clarify that transfers are available when you land on May 8th, the day the tour starts, the transfers are available from the Christchurch airport to the hotel. And these are gonna be group transfers. So you'd need to go, you know, it's not a private transfer when you go whenever you want. So if uh, you if you were flying on your own, you'd need to get us your flight schedule so we could let you know where and when to meet that bus. And then at the conclusion of the tour, uh, the transfers are from the hotel to the Sydney airport. And the reason that's important is if you were going in early, which I know a couple of people have mentioned they wanted to do or staying late or anything like that, um, you would not be eligible for the transfers. They are they're group transfers from the airport to the hotel and from the hotel to the airport on the day the tour starts and the day tour ends. Did I describe that correctly, would you say, Gina? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, somebody asked uh, Somebody asked what airline is used. Do, do you know what airlines, if they book through Colette, are most likely that are gonna be used? My response was it's gonna be depending on your gateway. I mean, because obviously if you're in Atlanta, you're probably on Delta. If you're in Dallas, you're probably on American. You know, if you're in Charlotte, you're probably on United, if I got that one correctly, or Chicago United. Uh, are there airlines that you see more often than not that Colette uses for air, or is it just really going to be based upon where they're flying from? Yeah, it's really going to be based upon where they're flying from. I know that a lot of, um, you know, if you're flying from eastern versus uh west coast um i know quanta's air is used a lot from la but 
like I said, it can vary yeah. um, depending on your gateway, but you can always, um, you know, jump on on Google and kind of see some sample itineraries of what they uh, look yeah. like from your destination specifically. Um, I wish I could list every single one for well, you just so I knew, yeah. but um, it does vary. So you can always just check out a, a sample um, itinerary of what's what's widely used. Okay. Uh, okay, somebody asked about laundry. It's a longer trip. Uh, I know a lot of hotels have laundry service um so i'm not sure if that's what he was asking about um you know where you put your your clothes in a bag and they launder them for you or dry clean them or whatever do you know but for those people because most of the time when we get this question people are asking about self-service laundry do you know uh about self-service laundry in australia should we expect our hotels should have one or is this the type of thing where they would because i know in iceland we had people who did it and I think with them, because uh, Iceland was much smaller cities, uh, I think on Iceland, they were asking the tour guides who were kind of telling them, you know, oh, a block and a half down is a place you can do laundry. Do you know about self-service laundry in Australia? You know, that's a good question. I do know that uh, dry cleaning service is offered, um, So, like you said, um, but let me find out for you, uh, John, and I can I can find out if we have those at the hotel. Okay, or we, if, we have the know. list on the one of the many things we have on the website is we have the list of the hotels we're going to be staying at. So, right. Yeah. Anyway. So we can absolutely look into that. Um, okay. I, I can also find out and. Uh, I'll take a look at that and send you an email about that and okay. you can pass it along. So we'll include that information with the email that goes out with a copy of this presentation. Uh, electrical plugs, um, Australia's type one adapters. I always tell people you should always bring an adapter. Um, a lot of hotels now have um, adapters for both the U.S. Uh, and local, um, but you know, it's always easier. They're not that big just to throw one in your bag in case you need it. Um, Gina, you've I, you've probably been to Australia more recently than I have. I haven't been there probably in, oh my God, 20 years. Um, what, what would you say as far as uh, converters? Yes, I always recommend to get them here as when you go to their country, it may be more expensive. Um, and that does bring me... Uh, sunscreen as well is very, very expensive over there. I know that's kind of off topic, but you'll want to uh, bring that in advance if you don't want to have to pay $30, uh, $30 for some sunscreen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so go. keep that in mind, want to get reef safe. Uh, but you can get a, um, you can actually just search on either Amazon, um, Australia, New Zealand plug type converter, and you can order one there. You can get them at Walmart or Target as well. Um, so yeah, I would recommend at least having one with you and always making sure to check uh, that, you know, not including phones because phones, that's usually what they're for, phones and computers. Uh, check on all of your electrical products that you're planning on using to make sure that it's dual voltage. And you can do that by either, you know, searching the product or calling the product itself. So you'll just want to be careful with that with like hair tools and, and CPAPs and, and things like that to see if you need a adapter or converter, voltage converter. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and then somebody else asked about the maximum capacity. Uh, I told them each bus has 43, uh, room for 43. So our group will be 86. That doesn't include the MOA vacations uh, escort or the tour guides from Colette. Uh, I assume the question was just asking about how many people would, how many guests would be going. Um, but you can sit there and say there'll be one Colette tour guide and one MOA vacations escort. So I guess 90 people, well, bus drivers is 92, however you want to count that. But uh, we have space for 86 MOA members in their guests. We'll put it like that. Uh, Beeses. Um, I know people need to get those on their own. Um, you get a visa, your visa is good for a period of time. Uh, and I, not many people, I think, are going to probably go to Australia and New Zealand more than once in a, a year or two years, but just possibly... Um, anything you want to 
throw in there about visas and uh, our visas for New Zealand and Australia, Gina? Yeah, this is something that you really do not need to stress about. Um, I always get people that are, are worried about this process. It's really uh, something that you will be able to uh, fill out online. And if you do need assistance, I know the MO advisors are absolutely wonderful and will help walk you through the process. But it is um, really just something that you fill out as an extra security measure, um, usually just approvals do not take long um you know you'll they'll just ask who you're traveling with you'll put yeah. uh collect vacations it'll ask your dates um and it's it's a very very easy and simple process and i mm -hmm. i know that uh they will be able to assist you with that if you do need help with that uh okay so in uh one in in uh when we're at the great barrier reef i think is what we're referencing um, when we talk about what you can do there, snorkeling is one of the activities that's listed. Um, I, is snorkeling a gear uh, provided or I'm assuming that there's snorkeling gear that someone can rent? Yes, it will be provided as well. Oh, it will if, be provided. If Yes, okay. if you um, purchase this option, it will be provided for you as well as a towel um, and a place to change to a swimsuit. Okay. Um, oh, I see. Oh, you're answering questions. That's why they're showing up and I hadn't seen them. Okay. <laughs> uh, extra baggage charge. So you answered that. Correct? Yes. Yes. So for, for baggage in U.S. and New Zealand return place for baggage. Included. Yeah, that's an airline question, though, that you, you want to make sure that, you know, the typically when you see excess baggage fees, those excess baggage fees are going to come from the airline. Um, the the kind of the stipulation that you get from Colette, and correct me if I'm wrong, is one one like kind of large roller bag per person, uh, and then one like carry-on and possibly like a personal bag. So you could have like uh for, for the ladies, you could have a roller bag, a carry-on, and like a purse. You know, the gentleman could have like a briefcase a carry on and and um and, and uh, a roll bag the, the key is is if we have 43 people that's 43 of the large bags that need to fit underneath the bus uh each day or not each day but each time we move from one city to a next or from one hotel to a next we need to make sure we have room for all that luggage so um i think that's pretty straightforward on that uh do you contact colette for airfare or work to branco you call you contact moa for everything okay um on flight arrival day we have a four-hour layover is it reasonable to go out of the airport and walk around during the layover jim i'm not sure specifically what you're asking um about the layover i'm not sure where the layover is uh can you give us a call uh do you sherry do you need a visa for both australia and new zealand gina you need one for both correct yes okay uh if we do our own errors or preferred flight time from queenstown to Cairns or Cairns to sydney sorry what was the question if we book our own air is there a preferred flight time from queenstown to can and from can to sydney Okay, I think I understand what is being asked here. Uh, the the inter-tour airfare is included. So when you look at the tour and you see that we're in New Zealand and we're flying from New Zealand to Australia, or then there's a flight in Australia, which I'd have to go back to that map, but those flights are included. The flights that are not included are the flights from the United States into Christchurch and from Sydney back to the States. So the inter-tour air is included. Uh, you can ask for an upgrade to business class. Absolutely, we can get your prices on that. Uh, the Fiji add-on, uh, do we have a price for that? If not, I'll get that for you, Neil. Um, I I can send that over to you so okay. you can and pass that along. Ah, okay, Jeannie just asked that. Does the base price include the flight from New Zealand to Australia? Yes, inter-tour air. Uh, is included we probably need to make sure i think on the website it, it's it, it lists that but we need to make sure that everybody understands it just now mentioned the tour starts on may 8th but earlier documentation said it starts on may 6th okay so 
that, that's that's travel time. So when I said May 8th, that's the date that people arrive in Christchurch. So when somebody's asking about the complimentary transfers, the complimentary transfers will be from May 8th. Correct me if I'm wrong, Gina, but that's May 8th from the airport to the hotel. And at the conclusion, you leave the United States on May 6th to mm -hmm. get to Christchurch on May 8th. Correct. Yes. Okay. You, because we do cross the international date yep. line, you're adding, you're basically adding a day, but your, your travel time is going to be close to, you know, 24 hours to actually get there, but it's actually going to seem like 48 because you're crossing the international date line. Um, so I'm sure if you're wanting to purchase your own air, um, I would check with the MOA advisors on yeah. before you purchase your flight. Yeah, that's always a good idea. Uh, somebody else asked about VCS yes, open for both. Uh, okay. Uh, during free time in Sydney, how would we get around? Oh, I'm going to jump ahead real quick. Uh, on the question on the website, um, it, MOA vacations has to be in all caps. And in Australia, i make sure I got too many windows up, make sure your thing is correct. Yeah, and the A in Australia needs to be capitalized. So I know normally in URLs, it doesn't matter. Apparently after the .com slash, it does matter. So once again, if, you, if you're looking for the website, it would be in the invitation you got to this. Oh, it should have had a link to this website. We'll, we'll send it when we're not next. But if you are trying to type in this URL, I'll go ahead and answer your question, Clark. Uh, or I guess it's de France. Sorry about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and answer the question and put it in there. But it's important that the uh, MOA vacation is all caps and the A in Australia is caps. OK, so going back uh, during the free time in Sydney, how do we get around? Are there buses, undergrounds or just walk? Gina, for, that's for you. Sorry, say that one more time. During their free time in Sydney, how do they get around? Do they take buses? Are there undergrounds? Do they just walk? Uh, walking. So your hotels will be centrally located. So you'll be able to walk around. Um, and if you want to get your own transportation, that would be up to you. So, you know, if you want to get an Uber or public transportation, that uh, is an option as well. But that would be a great question for your tour manager who will be reaching out to you prior to departure. So if you want to do some planning ahead of time, they'll be able to tell you the best mode of transportation uh, in the destination that you're that you're looking for. You know, and th this is a great time to to just say real quick, having, uh, I actually went, um, nope, I went on Germany. I was going to say I went on Iceland, but I, I can tell you from the feedback we got on Iceland, the tour guides are just phenomenal. And as I said, I went to Germany, so I can speak to that, although that was a few years ago when we did Germany. But anyway, um, they are going to be with you morning, noon, and night. They're going to be with you on the boats. Or excuse me, they're going to be with you on the buses. So you're going to get to know these people. And so when we get to Sydney, you'll have ample opportunity day after days, mornings, evenings, or whatever, to kind of talk to them. And they are a great resource. Uh, I know in uh, on the tour I went on and I heard from people in Iceland, if, there's, if you're looking for stuff to do, it's great just to tell them what you want to do. Is there something you want to see? Is there something you want to experience or something like that? And they are there um to to assist with they are experts they in um south pacific they're going to be new zealand australia experts um who literally do these tours um for multiple months every year so they've they've been with another group that's been to sydney so they not only do they know from their own personal experience but if they send somebody out and say oh you want this kind of food and they go the people come back and so they have all that feedback and input so um, yeah, the tour guides are gonna be a phenomenal resource for any of those types of questions. Okay. Um, I did post the website, uh, your web link in the chat on here. Um, so if you want to open the chat as well, I did send that out so you can directly just click on it and go to the website as well. Okay, and then, uh, oh. Okay. I also answered it in the question that came through. So, okay. Perfect. Free time. Uh, do we arrive back to the United States on May 21st? Uh, if you fly home 
on May 20th, when would they actually get back? May they, 20th, right? Yes. Yes, I believe so. Um, let me double check that. It just <laughs> it confuses me for the return. Um, I, I believe so. It would be the 20th, but let me double check on that for you. Just yeah, cause, because cause on the way back, you cross the international date line again. So you leave on the 20th. It's a 16 hour flight. But when you cross the international date line, you go back a day. Um, so you should depart and return on the same day. Of course, that's yes. assuming that you book a flight that doesn't, you know, have a 20 hour layover in Fiji or, or Hawaii or something like that. But typically when you fly home, you're going to fly, you're on that like 16 hour flight from Sydney to LA or wherever your first stop in the United States is. And even though it's that long of a flight, you land on the same day you took off. Okay. Uh, how much is travel insurance and does it cover the deposit? Uh, Julie, travel insurance is, uh, we, we got like a couple of different options. So why don't you just drop us an email um, and we can get back to you with a quote um, on the trip insurance plan. Uh, average temperatures in May. Uh, for average temperatures, at, so it's different where everywhere you're visiting. True. We are uh, so... a lot of different places. What you can expect, so you can kind of compare it to what October is in the Midwest, so fall, but uh, you can expect for New Zealand to be uh, probably the coolest. It's going to be 50s, upper 50s, um, and then when you get to Sydney, it'll be uh, in the 70s, and then when you're in Cannes, it'll be um, 80s, so that will be, you know, swimming weather, um, so it varies. So you'll want to pack and think in layers when you yeah. think of packing. Yeah. Um, it's in the other hemisphere. So it's basically the opposite of, of what we have here. So our summer uh, is their winter. Um, but I can tell you, we, we don't want to, we don't want to go much earlier than that because I've been, when I, the one time I was in Sydney, uh, it was in the low thirties, which, equates to the mid 90s hundreds for us and that's just a little too warm uh for going on i always think it's always better if it's a little cooler it's easy to throw on a jacket it's difficult uh to do the inverse the moa inverse. moa did pick this uh time frame for you know the best time to visit this we is did. great great touring weather um so we're we're not taking you where it's going to be too hot too cold um you're going to get to experience the sun when you are in Cannes, and then you're going to get to experience that through the entire time, but may just be a little bit cooler, but it's not going to be cooler than, than upper fifties. Yeah. Anywhere you visit. No, no, no. Yeah. We're, it, no, it's going to be fantastic. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, there's a lot of things that went into us planning this. I mean, you know, it was interesting when we went to Colette and said that, that we wanted to do, dinner and see a performance at the Sydney Opera House. I think we're the first time Colette's ever done that for a group before, but hey, yes, it is. you can get special things. There you go. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Paul just corrected me. I, I don't have, I, I've got, we're in the webinar, so I don't have the, the, the screen in front of me with the group on it. The tour actually ends on the 21st, not the 20th, so I misspoke, but that would mean that we, the tour would end on the 21st, you board a flight on the 21st, and you would arrive back in the United States on the 21st because we are going to cross the international date line on our way back east. So anyway, well, we went a little bit long. Just uh, as a reminder, uh, you have our telephone number and you have our email address. Reach out, grab a consultant, ask them any questions that you didn't get answered at this time. Um, you have the URL either in the chat or in the Q&A. Uh, if you want to go to the website uh, and sign up, you just click on the tab that says book now, fill that information out, and then uh, someone will give you a call. Uh, make sure you don't have any questions and get your credit card for the deposit. Once again, it's $2,000, $1,000 per person for a double occupancy room, $1,500 for a single occupancy room. Uh, I hope everybody can join us. Uh, be on the lookout for that email that's coming your way. That's going to have a bunch of information in it, a link to this webinar and a link to the website. So um, thanks everyone for joining us.
Uh, we do a couple of these a month. Uh, if this is your first one, I hope you'll join us in the future for a future webinar. And Gina, I know you're really, really busy. So we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to join us today. And I'm going to turn it over to you for the last word. Yes, and thank you so much, everybody, for joining today. I hope you're able to join on this wonderful opportunity. And once again, I just want to say thank you to John for your partnership. And uh, we're looking forward to hearing about how wonderful this trip is. That we are. All right, everyone, have a great week and have a great weekend. And we'll hopefully see you in Christchurch. Bye, everybody. Right. Thank you.